Alright, I needed this pot for a project that I'm working on and I found it at the dump. It's an aluminum pot and it has a hole in the bottom. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how simple it is to fill up this hole with this alumite aluminum brazing rod material. The first thing you're going to want to do is take a file, file that hole nice and flat and clean. Once you do that, take a wire brush like this. Get it nice and shiny. You cannot have any oxidation, otherwise it will not take when you do it. This is the other brush I'm going to use. We're going to take the propane torch, fire it up, apply even heat. This pot is on a wooden block off the ground. <clears throat> you don't want to heat just where the hole is. You will deform the metal. It will get all bent out of shape. So heat the whole bottom. And then concentrate in the area where you're working. Every so often, just wire brush. Keep testing with the rod. Nothing yet. If you overheat it, it will melt right through and fall on the ground, so it's very easy. The pot is very large, so it acts like a heat sink. Pulling away all the heat takes longer to heat it up. Touch the rod again, make sure. If it doesn't heat up, increase heat. Get in there. So put a little bit in there. All right. Get in there. Good. Do the edges. Keep it going. Close off the edge like that. Alright, once it's totally cooled, I'm going to grind and polish this area and that should be a perfect repair. Alright, this is what it looks like after I ground it down and I polish it with the wire brush. It's a very strong repair that will not come off. Now the inside, the material flowed in. Let me show you what that looks like. It's a better angle there. Now I don't have to have this perfect as long as it floats in water because that's what my project's going to be using this for. This is the inside. Right there. Now if you want to have this perfect, where it's perfectly flush, the thing to do is you're going to polish it like you see here with the wire brush, get all the oxidation off. Once that's completed, just grind away the hole, make it nice and clean. And then you place a fire brick right against the flat surface tight. Once you place it against the surface tight, you turn over the pot, and then you begin the repair procedure. What you're going to do is as you heat up the aluminum, the brick, the fire brick, is going to be right against the metal nice and tight. You're going to take the filler rod, 
and you're going to fill the entire hole up first and then you can fill the entire repair so what will happen you'll have the interior of the pot nice and flush and the outside will also be filled and you can just grind it away nice and smooth and the reason why you would want to use the brick is because you can't repair this side of the pot and let it cool and then flip it over and then heat this side because the repair will fall out in the opposite direction so you want to do all the repairing from one side of the hole. So it did come out pretty good. There was a hole and now I'll be able to fill this with water and not have it leak out. If you enjoyed this video please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you for watching.